Recently, I asked you guys what kind of new YouTube channel you would like to see from us. And to no surprise, that was After Effects Basics. So, we have started with the preparations of this brand new channel. Where can I see this new channel, you might ask? Well, good question. There's a link in the description down below. You can already go ahead, subscribe, and enable notifications. There are currently no videos on it yet, but that will change very soon. In the meantime, we're gonna do some VFX Insights Premiere Pro. I've got this guide right here chopping wood, but what he doesn't know is that there's actually an invisible cat laying on that log. So as he chops the wood, he chops the cat and the blood splashes onto the lens. That's actually a very cruel story. <laughs> Pull down the alt key and drag the clip a track higher to make a duplication of it. Then search for the tint effect in the effects library and drag that to the duplicate. Now you want to change the blacks to a dark red and the whites to a slightly brighter red. The idea is to make your shot look like blood. We're also going to add the gosh and blur effect to it and increase the blurriness a little bit. You know, since your lens is covered in blood, you can't really see that sharp anymore. All right, next up, click the new item button in the project window and choose color matte. And it really doesn't matter what color you choose. Drag it above your clips in the timeline. On this color matte, we're going to slap the VR fractal noise effect. And the idea is to play around with the contrast and brightness so that you get these white stains. These represent the blood. If you want your blood to drop off a little bit from the lens, you can enable animation for the evolution. Go forward in time and change that value to around 50 degrees or something. Now, let's go back to the effects library and look for the track matte key. Drag this effect to the middle clip, the one that we gave a red tint before. Now, from this effect, we'll set the matte to video tree. This is the color matte and change the composite to luma. Basically, we're gonna use the shape from that fractal noise onto the red clip. As a final touch, I'm gonna go over to the opacity property of my red clip and take the pen tool to draw a rough mask around the stains. Enable keyframing for the mask pad and go like one frame forward. You then want to expand the mask. And this way the blood appears in two parts, making it seem more like it's being splashed onto the lens. A great effect that you can use in action scenes. Now, real quick, if you already want to get started with After Effects, check out my beginner's class. It's on Skillshare, so with a monthly fee, you can get access to everything on Skillshare. And the first month is free if you're new. And the class is super fun and engaging. The reviews have been tremendously positive as well. So definitely check it out, guys. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Effect number two, I've got this guy on a motorcycle and, you know, there's this invisible... Okay, enough with the stories. Duplicate the clip as seen before. On the top clip, you want to add the extract effect. Change the black and white input levels until you get these thin lines. Now, alternatively, you could use the find edges effect, but you just don't have much control over it. Next up, change the blending mode of this clip to screen, revealing the bottom clip. Now, look for the VR glow effect and drag that to the top clip as well. You want to increase the brightness the radius, and bring back the threshold a little bit. I'm going to enable to use tint color and pick something light blue or teal. Finally, go back to the opacity to take the pen tool and draw a rough mask around the motor guy. Enable animation for the mask pad and adjust it over time. Now, the idea is that the electric effect only applies to the subject and not so much on the background. And there you have it, a cartoonish electricity effect. You know, we might have driven over some invisible electric wire. Who knows? And finally, the third effect for today, we're going to bring back the glitch effect. But this is one that you've never seen before. We have a clip of a man and he's about to glitch through another dimension, which is invisible, by the way. The same old stuff as before, duplicate the clip. And on the top clip, we're going to add the strobe light effect. Basically, this effect will add white frames according to the interval settings. I change my strobe duration to 0.1 seconds and the period to 1 second. And to make the flickering more random, I will create a keyframe for the random strobe probability. Then go till the end of the clip and make that 100%. So this is what we'll have right now. Now, instead of showing a white frame each time, I'm going to change the strobe to make layer transparent. This will reveal the bottom clip each time. And when we offset either one of these two layers, you're going to get this time distortion every time. Now, to make the glitch look more like a glitch, it's going to need an RGB split. So look for the VR chromatic aberrations effects. And you can leave the settings as they are. Additionally, you could also look for the black and 
and white effect and drag that in between the strobe effect and the chromatic aberration. This way we're first making the clip black and white and then we're doing the RGB split. Last but not least I'm also going to scale the clip up a little bit and that gives you this pretty cool time distorted glitch effect. Now make sure to hit that like button, it's not invisible so you should find it. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe already to After Effects Basics and perhaps check out my beginner's course. All links are in the description down below and as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left for more and over there is a subscribe button, perhaps if you're new to Premiere Basics so you can see me every single week. How cool is that? Alright, catch you guys next week.